here's where it really impressed me, Nick. And what? All right, I was a little, I was a little giddy leaving. You a little worked up. You you were a little, a little worked up. I was, and 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 we'll get into possible reasons for that. But so they're going towards the end of practice. They're doing eleven on elevens. And it's it's basically walkthroughs, and they're 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 even they're going against other offensive players. So like Gunnar Olszewski's playing cornerback. Actually, he's playing slot cornerback, okay. and th- that group is working off of cards, which is basically like they're working off an opponent. And there were a couple offensive guys with linebacker numbers on to identify the mic. And this was a little bit of a. a, a a progression from what we saw earlier in practice. Like they were really trying to throw the seams and McDaniels was trying to get the quarterbacks. And even Mac Jones messed this up once where trying to realize, all right, if the linebacker does this to the person in the slot, then where are you going to go with the ball? And Mac Jones screwed something up earlier in practice. McDaniels coached him up on it. Then you come back and this sort of brought everything home in the practice. And so Cam Newton gets out there. He gets under center. And you hear him, all right, 56 is the mic. Okay, fine. We understand. He could do that last year. Nick, you could do that. You could understand that basically when it comes to the Patriots, as far as I understand it, the the offensive linemen are responsible for the four down linemen plus whoever the quarterback identifies as the mic linebacker. And that could be anybody, depending right. on it. Could be a safety. Yep. And so it's it's the rudimentary, very basic part of this offense. And Cam did it last year. It's not that hard. So that was fine, and they run through it, and Cam throws a little bit late in the seam, and that's okay. So now Mac Jones comes up. He identifies the mic, but then you hear him say, 56 is the mic, Rita. Okay, that made me sit up a little bit. Okay, now he's tagging something else on to the mic call. It's not just a mic call. He's now telling the line to, or at least the the running back or the line, to slide right on protection. Rita, right, Linda, left. Or something along those lines. So I was like, okay, that made me sit up a little bit. And I'm like, okay, interesting. All right, now, now what happens? Okay, now it's Mac Jones under center. I think it was Nelson Aguilar. It could have been Kendrick Bourne as the right wide receiver. And so Mac's looking over the defense. They're all looking over the defense. And all of a sudden, Aguilar and Mac Jones look at each other and Aguilar points to the slot cornerback. And Mac does it. Mac, Mac just says, I know, I know. <laughs> and so then they snap the ball. That slot cornerback comes on a blitz, which we saw last year a few times with Cam Newton and him not exactly see it. What does Mac Jones and Aguilar do? They both see it. Snap, boom, balls out, slant, probably like a 50 yard touchdown. It reminded me of like a Brandon Cook's play when he was here with Brady on a little slant that went, I think, for 50 yards, maybe a touchdown. I forget which game it was. So I saw that, Nick, and I was just like, that's the Patriots passing offense. Like, right. thank you. Like, That's what, that's what okay. we've been waiting for. Yeah. That's what we've been waiting for. That's what we've been talking about all season. That's what we talked about where Cam had problems last year, where it's like, okay, can he play quarterback? Yes. Can he run? Can he complete some passes? Can he operate the offense? Yes. But is does he have the potential to use the Patriots passing offense to its full operational strength? And the answer has been a resounding no. And I still think it's a no. And to me, Mac Jones is the only person, you know, with, you know, talent on the roster to do it. And so what I saw yesterday what I saw yesterday got me excited. Look, I don't know what's going to happen. Who who knows what's going to happen? But I will say this, Nick, and this is this was not in my column. I had already written my column, but you know I'm on my way home from practice yesterday, and I know people wouldn't get back to me. But you know, text some Patriot sources, be like. So I texted one of them, and just to make sure I'm in, you know, the ballpark of where I should be. Right. And I texted one of them, and I said, "Look, I know it's just a May practice." And it wasn't really even a practice. But holy hell, Mac F and Jones. And all I got was a <laughs> and I and I got and I got a winking eye emoji back, basically being like, Yeah, you saw that right. So look, I don't know what's gonna happen. It's May. A lot can happen. He could get the Jared Stidham memorial hit pointer tomorrow 
and be out and be on the bench for the rest of the year. Um, but I'll tell you what, Nick, um, where Cam is. Where, so this was our first time seeing Cam. Where Cam is, where Mac Jones is, where he can go with the playbook. Before before yesterday, I didn't really think there was a chance that Mac Jones was going to start till maybe the midway point of the season. Maybe it depended on how things go went early in the season. I now think that Mac Jones has a. How do I term this? I think he has a decent chance to start the opener and be the quarterback this season. I don't know if that's going to happen. I could be totally overrating this. I could have beer goggles at 2 a.m. at your <laughs> bar in Hampton. I could have some old lady hanging on me. Um, that kind of thing, you know, back in my day, way back in the day at Rutgers. Um, I could have serious B- QB beer goggles on. I don't know, maybe. But that's the way I felt yesterday, and that's what I wrote. And and I, I think it's – I think it's pretty accurate. I think that Mac Jones is ahead of schedule. Now it's just a question of when he arrives. 